वेलकम टू माई न्यू वीडियो टूडे हाई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट फार्माको काइनेटिक्स फार्माको काइनेटिक्स इज द ब्रांच ऑफ द फार्माकोलॉजी दैट डील्स विथ एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ द ड्रग डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ द ड्रग मेटाबोलिज्म और बायो ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ द ड्रग एंड ऑल्सो विथ एस्क्यूरेशन ऑफ द ड्रग मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट विल बी कन्फ्यूज ऑन फार्माको काइनेटिक्स एंड फार्माको डायनामिक्स सिंपली फार्माको डायनामिक्स मीन्स it deals with the mechanism of action of the drug with physiochemical properties to remember pharmacokinetics i made one mnemonics aid me absorption of the drug distribution of the drug metabolism or bio transformation and excretion of the drug now before starting absorption i am going to tell something about concentration c max Tmax and half life in short concentration maximum when we give a drug to a person after certain time the concentration of the drug becomes maximum in a plasma that is known as Cmax to become a concentration maximum the time required that time is known as Tmax let's see the graph in x axis this is time and in y axis this is concentration of the drug after certain time the concentration of drug become maximum in the plasma this is known as cmax and this time required to become maximum concentration in the plasma of the drug this is known as tmax now half life of the drug according to the definition half life means to become the concentration of the drug in plasma half or elimination of the drug from the body half that means if we see in this in graph concentration of drug become half from this year and elimination of the drug half this this is the half life of drug there are about 5 to 4 to 5 half life for complete elimination of the drug now i am going to discuss about the first part of pharmacokinetics that is drug absorption simply drug absorption means passes of drug from site of administration to the systemic circulation by crossing the biological membrane there are various methods of or process of drug absorption they are simply these are divided into two broadly two types passive transfer and specialized transport again passive transfer is divided into two types simple diffusion and filtration simple diffusion most of the anal analgesic drug like paracetamol aspirin oral dose of morphine pethidine barbiturates they are absorbed through simple diffusion and filtration filtration example is urea ether ethylene glycol now comes in specialized transport again it is divided into four types facilitated diffusion drugs like tetracycline glucose sodium potassium ions is transmit absorbed through facilitated diffusion active transport drug like levodopa and iron is absorbed through active transport endocytosis drugs like insulin and tetanus toxide diphtheria to toxides is absorbed through endocytosis and iron pure transport in for iron pure tra transport new stigmin and for in, in exam the various in most of the exam written exam the most asked common question is difference between simple diffusion facilitated diffusion and active transport simple diffusion is different simple diffusion is most common process facilitated diffusion is less common and it is least common process simple diffusion it is movement of the drug along the concentration gradient in the simple diffusion in facilitated diffusion also along the concentration gradient whereas in the active transport against the concentration gradient in simple diffusion the movement is bidirectional in also facilitated diffusion the movement is also bidirectional whereas in active transport movement is unidirectional and your carrier protein and energy is no required in simple diffusion remember this carrier protein and 
energy is not required in simple diffusion whereas facil in facilitated diffusion that is carrier protein is required in facilitated diffusion but no not uh, no energy is required in facilitated diffusion but in active transport both carrier protein and energy is required now i am going to explain this figure this figure explain about the blood supply of whole blood whole body the, this is gut liver vein or inferior vena cava right side of heart lungs left heart and finally artery or to the tissue when we give the drug that is oral form of the drug like the tablet capsule then the drug goes to the git or gut the drug is absorbed from the gut and reached to the liver from hepato renal circulation from the liver it goes to the inferior vena cava from inferior vena cava it goes to the right heart from the right heart it again it goes to the lungs again left heart and finally to the artery this is when we give the drug from oral route it travels to the all part it is so length lengthy process but when you give blood to directly to the systemic circulation that is in vein it directly goes to the right heart to the circulation then to the lung then to the left heart and finally to the tissue or finally to the artery through the tissue through the artery and when we give the drug that is inhaler like salbutamol when you give the drug through, through the inhalation then it's directly goes to the lungs and to the left heart artery and finally to the tissue then the red action is rapid when we give in when we give directly to the inhaler then systemic circulation and the mode of action is so long or prolonged in when we give through the oral route now i am going to explain this graph in x axis this is time where is in y axis this is the concentration of the drug first we give the drug in oral route this is the oral route and the concent c max is also low and t max is low the prolonged action takes place from the oral route when we give this uh, drug in directly into the systemic circulation then it's quite faster than the oral route c max is quite larger and t max is quite larger but when we give the drug directly to the inhalation or directly to the lung system then the concentration max concentration increase so rapidly and t max is also high now i am going to discuss about the factor modifying drug absorption there are mainly it's divided into two broad headline factor related to the drugs and factor related to the patient factor related to the drugs is molecular weight of the drug if the, if the molecular weight of the drug is high then the rate of absorption is low and vice versa for example heparin has low molecular weight rate of absorption of heparin is rapid whereas insulin has high molecular weight so rate of absorption is slow size of the drug particle A smaller size of the drug particle more rapid will be the absorption lipid water partition coefficient simply lipid water partition coefficient means tendency of the drug that bind with the lipid or tendency of the drug that cross the biological membrane so if the lipid water partition coefficient of a drug is more then the absorption rate will be more disintegration and dissolution its example is clear in uh, capsule and tablet when we give the tablet then both disintegration and dissolution should be take in the tablet but when we give the capsule to the patient capsule is already disintegrated when in that when the capsule is uh, we get the capsule from the market that ca uh, capsule is already disintegrated and when we give the ca capsule to the patient it goes only dissolution so the ca uh, rate of absorption is rapid in capsule whereas uh, delayed in tablet doses formulation when we give the drug in 
Well, here I already mentioned when you give the drug in uh, systemic circulation, the rate of absorption is quite rapid. The, the most rapid of the rate of absorption is in when we give the drug by inhalation. Inactivation of the drug, when we give the drug uh, from inappropriate route, for example, if the insulin is given intradermally, sorry, if the insulin is given orally, then it will be inactivated by the enzymes. So, the rate of absorption will be delayed and interaction with other drugs. For example, if we give tetracycline with iron, then iron acts as the chelating agent and the rate of absorption of the tetracycline will be delayed. Now, let us come on factor related to the patient. pH of the gut. If acidic drug is given, given in acidic medium, then the rate of absorption will be rapid and vice versa. If acidic drug is given in basic medium, then the rate of absorption will be decreased and vice versa. Gastric motility. With increase in the gastric motility, the rate of absorption will be decreased. Mucosal surface. With increase in the mucosal surface, the rate of absorption will be increased. And GIT disease, there are some disease condition like chronic liver disease, the rate of absorption will be decreased. Whereas in Kohn's disease, the rate of absorption will be increased and regional blood flow. With increase in the blood flow, the area where there is the high blood flow, then the rate of absorption will be high and vice versa. In low blood flow, the rate of absorption will be low. Thank you for watching our video. If you like our video, please subscribe our channel, share, comment. Thank you.